In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix or salvage a LiPo battery. This schematic is showing three cell LiPo battery where you have three cells. Each cell is 3.7 uh, volts and, uh, uh, and connected in series and that's where you add the voltage and you get the 12 volts. And you can see the discharge leads in the bottom and the charging leads on the top. You can also notice that each lead uh, or each cell is accessed by two wires and when you add the nodes you get the, the the four wires which is typical for the 3S battery. This battery is showing uh, basically one damaged cell and uh, uh, the, the cell reader is reading two uh, of the cells and not uh, the third. So just to make sure I tested with a uh, uh, analog uh, multimeter and testing the volts it's reading one cell, the second and the third it's just dead. So when you connect it to a charger, it wouldn't charge because it's less than 2 volts for that cell and it will give you an error. Uh, th this is a working or it's, it's a good uh, 3S uh, battery and as you can see it has the 4 leads for a typical 3S. It, well, it was hit before but it's functional. And if it goes bad, you can convert it to a, a 2 cell battery like you see and a 2 cell basically has the, the 3 leads and I'll show you how to make that fix or salvage, how to salvage a 3S battery. So what you can use to charge the, the, the LiPo or bring up that cell to um, the 2 volts and above and then charge it with a charger is using a DC uh, power source. And this is uh, just a typical adapter and it gives uh, 1.5 and 3 as you can see, 3 volts and uh, 300 milliamp uh, out. Also, you can use uh, just uh, AAA uh, batteries uh, and they are connected uh, in series to give the three volts and it will give you enough voltage to bring that cell up to 2.0, uh, oh, uh, just above two volts for you to be able to charge. I'm testing here this uh, rig or whatever, the two cells or two batteries connected in series just to make sure that I have the two volts even though it might not have so much amperage but it would be enough to bring it above 2 volts. So, first step is to take off the, the, the cells or the leads for the cell that's not working Where, and in this case it was the last uh, or the, the ones toward the end and that's what usually goes bad. Try not to touch the, the, the two wires together if there is any voltage it might spark a, uh, uh, you know, a spark so try not to touch them and um, I'm using alligator connectors here uh, to access them without you know having to hassle with the, just the bare uh, leads or the charging leads and I'll first start by using the the, the two batteries the triple uh, A batteries and here I'm gonna connect uh, now when you are charging it's like just like charging a car battery or jump starting a car battery positive to positive and negative to negative and uh, you, usually the, the black is the, the ground or the negative but to make sure you should have tested with the multimeter and I've done this already. Uh, well it didn't work for some time, I give it some time, it didn't work so now I have, I'm using the adapter and I'm getting the positive and it's uh, the, from the outside, the outer uh, lead of that adapter and the negative is in the inside and that's just the adapter like I've shown before uh, I make the connection and then put it to the electricity and now it should be charging and I'll leave it to charge that uh, cell for some time and try to bring it above the 2 volts once it comes above the 2 volts then you can charge it with the typical charge okay uh, this is risky and you do it at your own risk um, I don't recommend you do it I'm just showing you um, the, 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 the way to do it if you choose to do it it's at, at your own risk and I'm testing now to see that there is voltage actually going into that cell uh, not to waste my time and just wait for nothing uh, so now it's charging and I'm gonna leave it for some time and come back to test and see if it's uh, working or not so after uh, some time and now I come back and test the cell and in this case the cell was completely dead it didn't bring up anything it didn't charge at all so it's dead so it's 
I have a 3S battery that one cell is dead and it's not gonna charge in a 3S so what do I need to do I'm gonna start to salvage it and now you're gonna see the content I've done I've done this cut before but I'm showing you where to cut usually on the outside there is um, a, a plastic cover so you take this plastic cover and you use a cut knife not through, not from the side you use it along that plastic cover it's strong plastic so you cut around it and then you can see now that it's these are the three cells and we're gonna remove this plastic cover and these how the the cells look from the inside this is basically uh, the, the the typical stock uh, cell cell batteries and you can count the cells here it's it's three there's that um, uh, kind of foam and it brings or connect or kind of keep the cells together and as you can see these are the three cells so what we're gonna do is basically remove the the damaged cell and you can see the leads that we took off already are the ones connecting to that particular cell and usually because it's on the outside uh, you will have that uh, discharge lead uh, connected to it and it's it's a big lead and it's it's a good weld so uh, and expect that this is aluminum it will take soldering but uh, it, it, it takes some special solder so most likely you will be able to solder it and you wouldn't need the aluminum uh, special solder what I'm doing right now is cutting that aluminum connector to that cell I'm removing that uh, damaged cell uh, by cutting the leads to it and it was cut and, and as you can see it's just connected to uh, that discharge lead what's remaining is that other uh, lead to it that's connected to the discharge I'm, I'm gonna cut it also and by doing this what's left is the two working cells uh, one extra lead that we're, gonna not, we're not going to need we're gonna remove it and you will end up with uh, uh, three three leads to give the two cells. So what I'm gonna do is just to avoid any um, uh, short circuit uh, connecting to that uh, working lead, uh, so it, it would become a three lead. And then you can cut that uh, fourth space where uh, the, the 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 fourth lead or lead connects to that extra cell and once you clean it you'll be amazed that what you have now is just the charging lead for a two cell battery and it would just perfectly fit in any charger and as you can see here just goes in and uh, in, you have now that uh, two charge uh, lead with um, uh, three connectors going to the to the leads um, what's left is connecting this discharge lead to uh, the, 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 the third or the outer uh, connector of that second cell. So what I've done is solder that to that connector and remove that black extra uh, charging lead and uh, using the, the battery uh, components there is that um, a protector it's, it's kind of carbon, heavy carbon, uh, I'm sorry cardboard uh, uh, just to protect the, the lead from touching each other and making sure it doesn't short circuit and this is it kind of a way it's, um, it, it's together now and, it, and you have a two cell battery I'm testing before I kinda assemble everything and making sure that everything is connected correct so this is the discharge a two cell battery is supposed to give you about 7.4 volts which is 3.7 uh, times 2 so 7.4 that's what I read and I have a 2S battery that I can discharge from and um, it's just now ready to be kind of put together uh, uh, in a beautiful way so using the same plastic uh, that I have um, that came with the battery uh, I'm putting the foam back to keep the two cells together and now I'm connecting the plastic just the same way it came in except that it's now in, in 2S rather than 3S and squish together good it looks nice and it's time uh, well I'm, I'm kinda making sure that uh, the, the lead goes in again correctly or it fits correct and it, it, it's kinda done in a way uh, what's left is um, uh, putting some um, tape, electrical tape on it. Another another check, you know, <laughs> making 100% sure that everything is connected uh, correctly before I put things together.